Hi, it's Jill with Cryptflex, and <coughs> I'm going to cough for starters. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing today, on this video anyway, is I have got some Palace Pets centerpieces here um, that I need to assemble. I've got them all glittered up. They're two foot pieces, and as I explained in a video I uploaded yesterday, I was cutting them up to cut them in sections so that I didn't have to tape too heavy of paper. The really heavy staples paper that I get, the 18 by 12, when I overlap it, and now I found my paper to show you what I mean by overlap. Um, I get it asked every time I do a video, it seems like somebody asks me where I get my 12 by 24 inch paper and I say over and over and over again, I don't get 12 by 24. This is the basil paper that they do have back at HSN again. It's 12 by 12, however, it has this print down here, which makes it about, about 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter, which is perfect because what I do then is I run my strip of tape right across this writing here. Excuse me, I got a cold. My grandkids gave me a cold. Boy, I'd rather they shared their food and not shared their sickness. Then I'm going to take this piece with the writing down and I'm going to place it right on top. What I don't want to do is have any tape. Because if you have any tape here, when you print it, it's not going to print on the tape and it's going to stand out like a sore thumb. When I do it this way with this new paper from HSN, my mat, it used to be when it's 12 by 12, it would take off about a half an inch. So I would have to put my settings and my silhouette at 23 and 3 quarters. But now, as you notice here, when I lay this on my mat, it is a full 2 feet. Again, this is with the paper that I get from HSN and Basil is the brand. Um, any other 12 by 12, you can get other packets at Michael's, wherever. Um, they're not going to have that writing on the bottom. So when you overlap them by a quarter of an inch, you're going to lose a half an inch on your mat. So you have to make sure you change your settings when you go to cut. Um, the reason I did the one yesterday that I showed you um, how I did it in the software where I did the cut so I could use the 12 by 18, which is the heavier paper, but it cuts out better if it's not taped together with another sheet because it's really heavy. I thought I'd give it my first shot with this because the basil is also heavy. And because I've added all this glitter, this thing, when I say it's glittered, it took me longer to glitter these pieces than any pieces I've ever done. But that glitter makes it heavier. And first thing I need to do is figure out what pieces go on here because she is all cut up and I didn't keep track of where and what I cut off. I cut off part of her hair too, I better find that. And that's hers. Let me put these pieces aside. And that's Belle. I love these palace pets. They are so fun to do. The shimmer and shine that I did last night was awesome to do as well. I like the really bright, colorful, floral and where I can add all the glitter that I want. I love that. So this piece fits right up here. Fits like a glove because I did the um, cut on my knife. It's on the curve but I went in there and set the, the, the thickness of my blade. I set to 0.4 so when I cut it I don't get a void. If you leave the blade and cut it at its default you're going to get a void um, when you're piecing them together. You're, you're, it's not going to fit like a glove because that blade is is pretty thick. The default on it, I, you know, I couldn't tell you the measurement on it, but when you're cutting cutting these things out, you want them to fit tightly so that you cannot see from the front where you pieced them. So I'm going to put this one together. And what I do is I push them as I do it because um, even though I put that tape down to help hold it together, it's it's not perfect. There's nothing perfect about this, but it's my daughter Kendall's 
8th birthday, which I mentioned yesterday. She has her friend party right now. It, see, there is absolutely zero void with the way that I did it. These pieces fit together, and you would never guess they were not cut out as one. And that's another thing that I really like about these these this type of um, piece is it doesn't show when you're doing your cuts. It doesn't. You have so many places to cover it up with glitter. Anyway, uh, it's Kendall's birthday party today. It's a costume party. So she, I just went and dropped off all the decorations that I made for her, um, for her party, which I did last night. I didn't film it. I, I don't wait till the last minute. My daughter had made a comment to me, and uh, I wanted to knock her, knock her head, but um, about waiting to the last minute, not realizing I, I am busier than a cranberry merchant on Thanksgiving Day. So I, my customers, uh, my family always comes first with things, um, but when it comes to decorations, uh, my, I have to put my customers, my customers. Did I say my customers first? No, my family comes first. However, when it comes to my business, since I'm going on vacation, my taking care of my customers comes first because the decorations for a birthday party, um, I will do the best to do what I can do. And I always do it at the last minute, always. This one's got a little tiny bit here I can see a little tiny 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 bit and I could take this off and shove it over more let me just do that to see if I can normally I would not do this I would just leave it because it's not that big a deal it's a little tiny tiny bit however since I'm showing everybody if you do make a mistake peel it off add some more tape so it's real 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 sticky and try and butt it up there a little bit closer which I just did, and whoops, when I did that, I brought it over and made it too tight at the bottom. I just ordered my Magic Bands for Disney. I am so excited. I cannot wait. You guys, I am like a little kid when it comes to Disney. I am just, it is my favorite place in the world to go. I've been there at least 30 or 40 times, and it's still not enough. I never get enough of it. Love it. I ordered my Magic Band. Um, we didn't get them last year for some reason, but all of us said we're getting them this year. And so I ordered Minnie Mouse for me, and I wanted to get my husband matching Mickey. However, they were sold out of the red, the regular red that would match mine. All they had was the, the Showboat Willing Mickey in the black and white, but I ordered that for him anyway. And um, him and I, last year for Christmas, my son and daughter-in-law got us a large Mickey Tourister luggage. And it's like Mickey shorts with the buttons and stuff on it. And I absolutely love it. It's got, it's just awesome. The wheels on it that spin in all directions. So it's just super easy to pull. Absolutely love it. But we each have to take a suitcase. And so I found the need to go out and buy myself a matching one, but of many. Then I found Tourister had tags that put your name and address on for your luggage. I thought I had to have that too, so I ordered those. I tell you, I am a freak. I have to have it all. But I am, I, you, you guys have no idea how excited, <laughs> excited I am going with my four children and their spouses. And actually, no, I'm not going with my four children. My youngest son cannot go this year because his um, other half are not married yet. His in school and cannot get off. Um, she's in nursing school and she can't take off. And my son said it would not be the same to go without her. And so he's staying behind actually staying at my house to take care of my dogs. Um, they're going to stay here and I feel bad, but at least they don't have children yet. And that kind of helps. It would be horrible to leave one of my kids behind that had children. But everybody else is going. And my son, has, who has baby Lane, 
my little precious baby Lane, he, this is uh, his first trip going with, with, as a daddy. This is where he proposed. He proposed to Jenna in Disney World. And um, so it holds a very special place to both him and Jenna, which is awesome. But um, anyway, we, I think I got it all here. I don't know where I was going with what I was saying. We're all pretty, pretty hyped here. Okay, now I got to see how I want her to stand. I think I'm going to have to have her stand on her tippy toe here because, let me see again, that foot is up. Okay, got it. Got it, gang, got it. Okay, running out of little sticks here. I got so much work to do. And anybody that is looking for placing an order, my shop closed on Friday for any orders that um, need to be shipped before November 15th. So, I am not accepting any. I, I, I've got quite a few orders on the books right now that I need to get done before I go. And so they take priority. So my shop is, you know, it's open for orders that are not due until December or later. But anything, I got a couple of requests this morning that were for the end of the month. Can't do it. Don't have time. Gotta, gotta get through the ones I've already got. So... Let me think what else I have to tell. I already said we've got the costume party at Kendall's birthday today. And so you will be seeing probably loads of pictures of that. Those are the costumes we're all going to be wearing at Disney. We're all going to try and go, like the 101 Dalmatians or something along those lines. However, um, the older kids, it's their first trip there. Kennedy is 11 and Brady is 8. Those are my daughter's um, soon-to-be hubby. How do you like my referral there, soon-to-be hubby? Which I'm sure will be this year. But anyway, it, they're both divorced and that is his two children and they have not been there before. So they wanted to go as superheroes. So there was a change in plans on costumes, which was fine with me because I ordered the cat in the hat for me with the little tutu on it, and I'm in love with it. Super cute. Last year, my husband and I went as pirates. <laughs> it was so incredibly hot that night that we won't do that again. Okay, there. Now, the reason I put her peg here was because she stands like this. In this foot, if I would have put it on it, this foot would not have had anywhere to set, to sit down. So, now I'm going to put the other half on. Oh, she's cute. My, my granddaughter saw these and she goes, oh, you know, those would actually go just fine for my party because um, it's a costume party and this could be considered somebody in costume. And I said, yeah, but uh, they aren't mine. So I made her a bunch of witches' hats and legs turned upside down in a cauldron. And and I wished I could have videoed it. I, I had some really awesome colors with the black and purple and orange and green. But since I waited till the last minute to do it, I did not have time to videotape. She had to have the stuff by noon this morning before noon and I got it there to her at 11.45. So, better late than never. But all she had to do was put them on their, their stands and stand them up. I do my kids, my grandkids birthday parties every year and you know, I do the best I can to get it done in plenty of time but it doesn't always work that way. I didn't even start hers till last night, but I did a new way of making a banner, and I was so excited. I woke up at 1.30 in the morning, and I couldn't go back to sleep, and I thought, you gotta just get up and do that banner, because it was the coolest idea, and I slept in this morning. I didn't get up. I slept in this morning, and I didn't get time to do it, so next birthday banner order I get, or the next grandchild's birthday that I do, I'm going to do it. 
would have been really neat with the Halloween one because they did do her banner all in Halloween color digital prints. And what else is new, guys? What else can I think of that I could share? I don't know. I probably shared more than I should as it is. But you know, guys, we're scrapbooking together. We're crafting together. Whatever it is you're doing, we're doing it together. You're listening to me babble. And every now and then laughing at me because of the mistake I've made. Or screaming at me to not make the mistake. Something along those lines. There we have... Uh, I always want to call her Rapunzel. and her, It isn't Rapunzel. It's Tangled. But I have a little bit here of a gap that I'm not loving. So I'm going to take my goldenrod glitter, and this is already glittered up, but I'm going to add a little bit on that line. Not a huge deal, because her hair is full of lines and lines and lines. Anyway, that was it on that side. Let me see on the other side. Uh-uh. The other side was fine. I don't know why. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Get her back on hers. And then I'm going to put together the second one. I'm going to start my film over again so it doesn't time off on me. So, be right back. Okay, guys. Good thing I shut it off. It wasn't that I was running out of time, but again, out of battery. That happens to me a lot. So, I'm trying to make it a habit of interrupting myself and restart the camera. You know, I should probably invest in a camera that's a, specifically for what I do, but don't want to. Where does this go? Maybe it goes over here, and that is correct. So, I got her all cut out and again glittered. The reason I cut them like this is because then I could do the two um, 12 by 12 sheets of paper and this one is a lighter weight so it goes through really good but because I use the wide sticks to put them together it works out fine when I do them on the lighter weight paper it's still not lightweight it's it's a good good heavy weight but it's not as heavy as the one from um, staples but it cuts a lot better when I'm doing a two foot so I have multiple uses and multiple reasons why I pick the papers I pick when I'm working on something. And I don't always share that because I don't always know what my reasons are. Sometimes, no, I don't. I can tell you right now, I don't know what my reasons are. I just do it. Depends, I guess, on I see my mood, you know. But if I tell you what my mood was when I used that paper, then you're always going to know my mood by what paper I use. Some things I'm not going to share. Because sometimes I'm not in the best of moods. But what I do then is I spark it up with my Avocare Spark that gets me bouncing off the walls. Sorry, but I had to have a drink. I didn't finish my Spark this morning. And that stuff I need. I've got a long day ahead of me. That's like loaded with caffeine. But it's a fruit drink. It's a fruity flavor that I got. I love it. My daughter is a, is a Advocare rep. So I get it from her. And she's done a video before on it. But stuff is great. It is absolutely great. You want to get bouncing, bouncing off the walls. My my grandkids all say, when they see me drinking one, they'll say, Emma, are you sparking? It's so cute. They can't tell when I'm sparking. When I'm... You'd think they'd be able to tell because they have to peel me off the walls. But they're usually peeling me off the walls. Oh, guys, update on my um, Cricut 3, which is sitting right here. Um... I did go on my laptop and install the software and I, up, I updated um, so my, my laptop I can use here, sitting here working 
when I have the other machine running, it's working. The ratchet blade does not work. It does not cut. Uh, the software now that I have uploaded on my laptop doesn't work with my other machine. It only works with the new Cameo 3, which is really dumb, but I don't know what the reason is. And I need to use two machines at the same time a lot. So rather than use my business edition where I can use one computer and two machines, right now I just use two machines. No big deal. I don't use my, my business. See, there's no lines. And I got that on there, that on there. So let me put this aside. Anyway, <coughs> it's no different. The functions on it, I have a lot of complaints. The functions on it are no different than the old one, and that probably could be because nothing's working on it. The, the air or the wireless, which is my whole reason for getting it in the first place, was the wireless feature, does not work. And the thing stalls when I go to cut something. Sometimes I have to um, send it through, turn off the machine, redo it again, reopen it, reboot. I mean, it's, I do not, I'm not happy with it right now. I know that there will be some updates. Thankfully, they do everything via internet, so you don't have to um, buy any products or, or, I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, I'm thankful for that. However, I'm not impressed with the machine at all. And maybe it will be down the road if the wireless ever gets working. And I, like I said, I can't use my laptop now with my other machine. It doesn't recognize it. It doesn't cut. It just it doesn't work. Um, and again, I found numerous things with the new machine that I don't like. But... We'll see what happens when they've got their updates. I would not recommend anybody, especially if you're a newbie, do not start out with a Cameo 3. If you are just thinking about buying a Cameo, there's not, I mean, if you never had one and you're not really a big time crafter, do not buy this machine. It is, you will box it up and send it back because this is not something that a beginner is going to want to mess around with. Um, go with the old one because you're not you're not missing out on anything. The, the ones that I have, I have actually three of them and I absolutely love them. I think they're safe with that but uh, I just I think that a lot of people that aren't real tech savvy and can't figure things out will not will hate the machine. Um, some of the things that I do, I just know to do because I was in technical support for years and not saying I'm savvy with the things that are going on, but I know what things to try before throwing the machine out the window. And I can usually figure things out because again, that's what I used to do. But I don't remember much since I retired. At my age, things don't stay with me as long as they used to. It's probably because I'm big, busier than I've ever been. And as I get older, I don't get less busy. As I get older, I get busier and busier. I don't know what I'm going to be like when I turn 80. Like my daughter always says, she can't keep up with me already. But I just do what I have to do. This one's going to need a little bit of the nose part here didn't go where I wanted it to. But I have to be kind of careful that I don't get bubbles in it elsewhere because I'd rather fix it with glue with um, glitter. There we go. Now we're going to put this one together. And how does this one sit? It sits like that. So I'm going to put it like that. And Did I put that? No, I didn't. Let me see here. Probably going to run out of time now again. Let's see here. I love these big braids. You sent me these and I'm almost out already. Thank you so much. I love, love, love the big ones. But 
if you're doing this as a business, um, the big ones are not as cost effective. They are more expensive. You don't get half as many in a box and you can't just use big ones on everything. You can use the little ones on anything and everything. The big ones you can't. Big ones can only be used on big pieces. But they're good to have. So when you do have a big piece like this, and what I really like is on this paper, these big sticks make the paper really sturdy, especially especially as many as I put put on them. I had to just use my jigsaw and cut my backgrounds out in wood. As much the popsicle sticks I use, I have glue stuck in my hand. Because I don't have my tip on, Sheila, I really, really, really suck at remembering to put that on. Sometimes I'll remember, but it's after a few blisters have shown up. Then I'll think, oh, put my tip on, put my tip on. I'm always, always 100 miles an hour. I've got, I've got so much on my plate all the time. So I'm so looking forward to vacation. I'm so excited. I'm just excited to have some time off. Oh, and I know the crowds and all the chaos and everything, but it's a different thing. It's a chaos I look forward to. Okay, now I'm going to take and put this one on. I'm going to start here so I can get something lined up and stuck. And I want to stand up to do that to make sure the whole thing is lined up. These are not, this is not how I would tell you to do it. I've mentioned that before. I would take and use these little black clips like this and clip your pieces together on the top and then fold it back. Um, I have those <coughs> that sometimes I use, but not always because, again, I've been doing this long enough that I got it pretty figured out. And there we go. And somebody, not somebody, some buddies, numerous folks have tried these big pieces and say they cannot, for the life of them, figure it out. And I don't know how to help because I don't know what there is to figure out. Um, I don't know when I'm filming what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm missing where you're getting stuck. Um, so I, I, I apologize if I don't respond back, but I just, I don't know, I don't know where to tell you. I don't know what's, what you're having trouble with, you know, because it's kind of generic when you say, I can't do it. And then they'll explain sometimes how, why they can't do it, but the explanation is not anywhere where I'm ever at, so I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to see it on video. Um, some people have sent me screenshots or videos, clips that they've done where they're having trouble and asking me if I can see what they're doing wrong. And those are helpful, but I don't always have the time for that. I need to put a little touch of glue here because I can see this. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter. Not glue. Glitter. 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 And that one's white, but I don't care. No, that isn't white. That's the offset from that piece. That was it. Let me see if it's on the other side. Don't think it is. And but I was wrong. It is. So I'm going to do the other side, but I'm going to lay it on here because I do not want the piece that I just glittered to touch my table because it's wet. So, I'm going to go in here and glitter that. There we go. Little glitter cuff on her. And I've got her glossy on her eyes and on her mouth. And we're good. So, I'll get some pictures and get these things uploaded for you. And that will probably be it for today. The next things I think I'm going to be taping is scrapbook pages. Have a good one. Bye-bye.